Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you are new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course subscribe right now. Well, we all know what happened um, last weekend. Um, Jan Jilei uh, breaking the iron jaw of Joe the Juggernaut Joyce. I'm still sad, you know. I'm still sad about that fight because Joe. I think Joe Joyce shouldn't have taken the rematch. Like you can tell that that is a that's a, a a very bad matchup, matchup for Joe Joyce. But Joe Joyce has a lot of rebuke to do, bro. Like literally, and the problem with Joe Joyce right now is that he's not he's not young anymore. Like he's not in his you know in his twenties, you know. Is now in his late thirties, basically in the next five years. Uh, Joe Joyce, will be retired from boxing, or unless he does the the George former. Probably George, in my opinion, Joe Joyce can still come back in his late forties and fight. You know, but that's not what you want because uh, Joe Joyce defense, if it hasn't, if it didn't improve in the past. 10 years is not going to improve in the next five years that's just a side rally because everywhere is punch different now at the end of matchup boxing i stated that um, that they are very much open to an anthony joshua and john Jale fight in china if the money is right okay even though the focus is still on uh, firming up a meeting between joshua and Deontay water um that fight is different listen this fight was talked about some time ago i mean i think uh, two years or something ago two years ago yeah i think this was talked about like uh, yeah you know janjali has a lot of respect for Aunt joshua they've met in the past okay and joshua you know knocked him down joshua dropped this guy heavy and joshua beat him okay but that was many years ago that joshua that fought john jilei is not a joshua of now but there is a huge advantage for joshua is that joshua moves at least moves his head john jilei would catch joshua at some point but i think joshua will be able to like sustain it a little bit and throws his own. joshua is fast joshua you know throws combinations he missed things up Janjali is not an easy fight for anybody. The guy might be 40 years old, but he's no easy fit for anybody. Or Sad Paul with of with um the weight a weight of 287 pounds, bro. This guy right here punches harder than the rock. But I do believe that Joshua uh Joshua fight will be very interesting and it's a fight that I would love to see happen. Of course, I, I think Joshua will be a huge favorite. Um, but some people might still pick John Jilei because the new Joshua is different from the old Joshua. The old Joshua will just go there with the aim of you know sending you to afterlife. The new Joshua goes the new Joshua goes to a ring with the aim of just win. Doesn't matter how he wins. Boring, uh, even if it's boring, even if it's just uh, boxing or stuff like that. But I don't I don't think boxers should just depend on their power. I think Joshua is doing the right thing. But it needs to mix it up. It needs to be a little bit it needs to stop being um it needs to stop holding back. You know. When you get someone hurt, you go all the way forward. I think this will be very good. In China as well. Keep in mind in China. Um John Jale e arrived in China, got an uh Eros welcome. It was very much appreciated in this uh country um and that shows a lot you know and i be, i feel like uh even once the chinese public gravitate towards them the problem is the problem is his age he's 40 years old now how long can he continue to fight if dangeli had turned pro a little bit early it would be different okay because then we would have seen more of him the thing the certain is that dangeli in the next five years would have retired 
And in my opinion, Jandele is still undefeated though, because the fight against Dagovic, I would say, was a, a robbery. He won that fight. He should have he should have gone in that fight. That's facts. He gave Dagovic hell. He literally it wasn't even fully healed yet at the time. So the Joshua fight will be good. I can't wait for it if it happens. Joshua has so many options, and I just can't wait to see Joshua back at the top again. You know, because with Joshua as a champion, we knew he would fight anybody. Fights were exciting. He didn't duck anyone. You know, you might say the water scenario. Yeah, come on, it happens. But when you when you want to get big fights made, like the big big fights made, sometimes uh, teams clash. It's just one of those things that happen in boxing. However, Joshua fought upcomers, dangerous monsters. He lost, came back. Just one of those things. Usyk as a champion is, in as much as it is, a very phenomenal boxer. Don't know anything. Fury as a champion, the guy don't want to fight anybody. He doesn't want to take risk. And even the Ghana fight right now that is going to take place October. Um, about 28. I still feel um, that Ngano might have a chance. Fury just thinks Ngano is just gonna be oh, like it's gonna be like. Of course, boxing is different. Fury, if Fury decide to box, just box, he will punish Ngano. Like literally, just punish. Like he will punish him with a jab all day, all night. However, Ngano still have that one chance to land something clean, and if he does. Um, let's see how Fury takes it. It'll be interesting to see. And the one thing about Fury is that you can knock him down, but can you keep him down? You can knock Fury down, but can you keep him down? Um, like I said, it's gonna be very interesting. Um, give it to us below, guys. Would you, would you like to see this fight? I like the fact that we have a lot of options now, and uh, I'm looking forward to many, many fights happening this year should be the year of uh, should have I, the year this year we've seen good great fights we've seen um top 10 heavyweight lose and um yeah uh, by the way is jangela still with matroom or i don't know is he, because i think he signed to matroom at one point or had some sort of like uh, a deal with them or so um but i don't know if he's still with matroom it's just a little bit weird man so We'll see how that plays out. Stay tuned, my son. All right, yeah. God bless you. Cheers.